Hello and welcome to Chakra Yin Yoga. Today is day seven and we are going to go through the seven main chakras that we have also been going through for the last week together. And we will just kind of bind it together with our Muladhara Chakra, with our Svadhisthana Chakra, with our Manipura Chakra, with our Anahata Chakra, with our Vishuddha Chakra, our Ajna Chakra, all the way up to Sahasrara Chakra, the crown chakra on the very top of the head. Um, usually even a couple of inches above, depending on, of course, our layers, our energy fields, and how we are put together, really. So, um, but usually it's kind of up there. And it has the sound of silence, like complete, vast, silent space. It has the color of violet to white, white to violet color, kind of like night sky stars mixture together. That's how I like to think of it. And it holds information that comes from all areas into our lives and it holds ideas, it holds thoughts, and it governs the thoughts and ideas and communication with all of those around us. So it's nice to pay some extra attention to our Sahasrara crown chakra and um, do it with intention with the yoga practice of just stirring, stirring the energies all the way from the seat with intention through the seven layers all the way up towards the crown. So I'm glad you're here with me. Take a comfortable seat. We will go through the sounds together and at the very end we will sit in silence together. Let's take our palms together in front of the heart. The text for the sounds of the chakras are listed below if you needed them. If you're jumping in, if you've done this with me for the week, you will probably remember them. It's Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om, silence. And we'll do it one time together. Take a nice big inhale. Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, gently release the hands and open your eyes and we are going to come into a step one standing pose that we're having in yoga together and it's going to be rag doll where we widen the feet as wide as the yoga mat and take hand in each and elbow and support ourselves by either having the hands in the elbows if that feels comfortable for you if not, put your hands on the floor, bring in blocks or any sort of support, a chair, perhaps books, anything that works for you. From here, we're just going to really ground down, anchor into the bones, the legs, the muscles, and let all of the juiciness of the tissues uh, open up and find new pathways for us to feel more grounded, more rooted, with ragdoll pose for our muladhara chakra for our root chakra for our grounding cord for the center that helps us feel at home so let in the breath come and go as you'd like making sure that you're at a comfortable angle comfortable level of your pose so support yourself as you need to with your hands make sure to keep your knees bent slightly so that there is a nice energy going from the hips all the way down through the knees ankles and all four corners of the feet
more like Dara chakra governs the bones, the muscles, the feet, the legs. Helps us feel at home, helps us feel grounded. Another 10 breaths here. Five more breaths here. And slowly release your hands if you had them around the elbows and support yourself down onto the floor we're going to take a block this can be done with or without a block of course it can be done with a book pillow maybe something stable will would feel good if you're up for it if not just lay flat onto your back we're moving into our Svadhisthana chakra the sacral chakra where we have the flow in our body, where we have feelings for our body, where we have our sentient feelings, where we can pretty much feel um, <clears throat> how other people are feeling. Bring one knee into the chest for a hip flexor, stag variant, open up the hip version. You can have your hands around your knees, you can use a strap if you needed to and just fully find a relaxation position to just be here in a nice comfortable place and again you don't need the block you could also simply just lay on to your back we have about 20 breaths here to open the flow in the hips the energy flow in your hips Open the flow in our creative body. Open the flow in creating anything that comes to mind. Making sure that we have a nice, open, receptive flow energy in the body and are willing and able to follow through with our ideas. We can feel it. We can see it. And we can create it. Another eight breaths here or so.
slowly switching to the second side, bringing your left knee into the chest and maybe keeping your right foot flat or extending your leg out, seeing what feels the best for you. Untie knots in the hips in our second sacral chakra, keeping the energy flow going through the hips, through the pelvis area, no holds. Loosen up any stagnation. Staying here for another eight breaths or so. Checking in that we are relaxing all parts of the body. Letting the stretch go into the ligaments and tendons and fascia, connective tissue. slowly releasing your leg and bending both knees and lifting the block or your pillow away from your hips. Maybe do a couple of spinal movements, maybe stretching both legs out, hooking your thumbs together and moving the energy from our root chakra up through our sacral chakra our abode, our house of feelings, our house of flow, our house of connection with others. Moving it all the way up to the fire area, to the belly, to the digestive system chakra, to our Manipura chakra by twisting. So let's take a banana pose from here. So it's like a kind of a lateral turn and twist. I like to call it that. So let's take the hips over to the right side of the yoga mat. Take your left foot out to the side and your right ankle over your left. Now, you wanna make sure that we have the sacrum flat onto the mat and hips stacked up and sacrum is down. And then we get a nice stretch in towards the ascending colon, moving the shoulder blades over to the left side finding your arms either to the side or finding your elbows up above. And we can just lay right here and have this wonderful elongation on the right side of the waist, a slight twist and turn. And it works on our digestive system. It works on our power chakra. It balances out the energies and the will that it is also a center for.
holds that color of bright yellow. It moves from the root chakra with red color, moves up to the sacral chakra with bright orange, and then we come up to the abdominals, to the solar plexus chakra with yellow color. You might see flashes of yellow with intention as you are moving energy around your abdominal. Bringing health to your digestive system. Another 10 breaths here or so as we move and turn and turn energy for the ascending colon to move and harmonize all of the levels of energy in our abdominal solar plexus chakra. slowly undo your legs and make your way over to the second side or maybe bending the knees first releasing the arms and bringing your hips over to the left side of your mat so that your sacrum is nice and flat or to the mat right foot over to the right side of the mat left ankle over and just kind of finagle so that you have your sacrum nice and flat and then arms can come back over the head and you can find your elbows you can take your gaze over to the right side and turn and turn the energies for the descending colon for the whole abdominal region for the whole manipura chakra relaxing into it and letting the stretch just simply neutralize the energies making the fire in the belly nice and even and an even flame and helping us with digestion, helping us with our will power, helping us to get things moving, but in a nice even way. Breathing into that. We have about 15 more breaths here.
breaths here. Gently wake your way out from this side crescent elongation, twisty version, banana pose. Come back onto your back. And from here, we're going to turn over onto our belly and move the energy up towards our heart chakra, our anahata chakra, and coming into heart melting pose. Put blankets for your knees if you need to. It feels um, really good for the kneecaps to have something soft to be on. You might have some blankets for your arms or your head. We're just simply going to take the hips and the knees and stack them. And then from here, I'm supporting my forearms and forehead comes down, checking the arms forward and just simply letting the heart melt, heart melting pose. And coming into the heart center both back and front and side, moving into compassion center, moving into true love center, unstruck love center for all beings everywhere underneath all the layers. Moving into the circulatory system, to the breath, Moving into our deepest desires, unveiling them with each breath. The Anahata chakra, heart chakra, governs the heart, the lungs, the arms, the hands, the fingers. It holds the color of a bright green. Another 10 breaths here. Slowly making your way up from your heart melting pose. And we're going to flip ourselves onto our back again and take some blocks or a nice fluffy firm pillow or two. Moving the energy from the heart center, bridging it up to our throat center, the purification center for our voice, the sound system the truth center, 
we're gonna have one block right below the shoulder blades and the other block is going to be behind the head to support you so either you have the block high or low or medium you can go any direction that works for you picking that bottom block right below the shoulder blade tips and the other block right below the head and then we get this nice bridge from the from the whole spine really it gets to just drape up and over and just really clear and turn and turn the energy in our Vishuddha chakra you can have your legs straight or you can take your feet together for a butterfly version make sure it's comfortable you can put blankets on the blocks or you can lay on a pillow we have about 20 breaths here so you just relax and rejuvenate and purify the throat chakra with a nice clear breath that's the color of bright blue Holds your whole sound system. It holds the energy of hearing, of speaking. chanting Eight more breaths here as we're filling the body with breath through the throat center, distributing it evenly through all parts of the body. Closing your knees together, supporting yourself on the side with your arms and lifting your head and getting yourself comfortably and securely off your pillows or the blocks. You can keep one block and turning it sideways and we're going to 
just arrange my blanket. I'm gonna sit on the blanket for the next pose is caterpillar pose, where we have the block for our third eye, removing up from our throat chakra up to our energy center for the third eye. And we might use a blanket over our block for the forehead to rest upon, bringing attention to our third eye center just by putting light pressure either away from the block on it or just thinking about it, visualizing it, or maybe the block and the blanket and the third eye will maybe meet each other and just relaxing the arms to the side or choose for blocks for the sides or choose to put your arms on your legs. Moving up to the center of vision, center of imagery, center of sight. From all realms, all around. Relaxing the spine, relaxing the knees, the shoulders. Another 10 breaths here, keeping attention to our sight center, our Arjuna chakra, where we are daily giving images, downloads of ideas.
gently making your way up from your comfortable pillow situation and we're going to come and take a comfortable seat moving from our heart center which is the transmission for the three lower centers to the three upper centers so we'll ground down from the heart center into the denser chakras manipura and svadhisthana and our muladhara chakra and then we'll move from the heart center they're just like an ever exchanging energy of breath and energy going from the bottom to the three top ones we moved through our vishuddha center the bright blue center we were just at our ajna center the center for sight vision imagery ideas and it has a color of a royal blue sky indigo blue sky color and we're moving up to our violet to white sahasrara center where we get amazing downloads from universe and everyone around us so we'll sit for three minutes in meditation with intention of turning the top chakra in a direction that works well for us and our being and our energy and our physical body so that we can have a nice clear energy paths all the way down to our grounding cord so let's sit with that for a moment and just let the breath come and go as it likes make yourself comfortable in your seat you might take deep breaths you might use a nice shallow breath you might just sit and let the breath come and go as it likes you can take your thumb and index finger together you can pull your elbows in slightly so that your elbows and shoulders are stacked above and below each other softening the jaw softening the outer, outer layers and staying bright in the inner body noticing the energy going from the lower to the upper from the upper to the lower with this beautiful exchange of energy in the heart center Another minute here.
deepen your breath, bring yourself back into your body and open your eyes or keep them closed as you lay down into Shavasana resting pose where we let all of the poses and all the energy work that we just did sip into its right place within our physical and energetic body. So let's take a Shavasana and I will play a little tune on my on my bowl over here on my chakra bowl while we rest in Shavasana and rejuvenate all the layers and keeping the pathway clear from the crown chakra we get some ideas up here we start to see them in our in our anjana center in our vision center we start to talk about it in our throat center well we talk about it and we start to really like feel a whole lot of love for it and like oh it belongs to us and we should probably do it it feels so good and it makes you happy and then it moves down into the fire center and it starts to turn and turn the energies into this idea that you had all the way from the very crown chakra into the flow center where it starts to create it starts to manifest and then in the root chakra we have if we have this nice clear energy line then if there are no holes no stagnation then it just kind of goes through us where all this transmission engine of ideas into manifestation so um let's rest in shavasana and just think about that for a moment or just have that in our mind and let that just embody ourselves i'll do a few laps with this crystal bowl to clear and clean all of the layers and then i'll sing the sounds of our chakras like I have done in the other sessions as well. chakras today with intention of digging a little deeper and building a little bit deeper relationship with each and every one of them and this was the seventh in a series of seven chakra yin yoga sessions so uh, if you have a chance to go through them all and balance your energy system with yin yoga poses and some chanting and I thank you very much for joining and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. 
Have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you. Namaste.